let's talk to him now to see what he thought of Saturday and to see how he's feeling. Uh, most importantly, hello, Paolo. Paolo. By the way, this is a great look for you. The hair, everything. You're looking very much like Clark Kent. You know Clark Kent? Of course I know. Of course. You you think I don't have TV anymore? <laughs> By the way, I see myself. Still... I see myself in back of you right there on the TV. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm watching you, motherfucker. Hey, yeah. There I am. Yeah. I was worried about the link, you know. I was asking you about the link, but Tamayo was Tamayo fell down his lip, so oh my god, I I'm doing for myself, you know, and yeah, I'm alone right now, <laughs> doing my my always stuff. Oh my my. always helping me, but now she left me and go to his lip. She she tired. She's so tired. I can understand. But we are here. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. The proud of Quebec. Yes. Ariel Jack. Wow. Right. You know my right middle name. Okay. I like it, Paolo. Okay. First things first, how is the uh how is the uh the elbow? Can you tell us how you're feeling? It's getting better, you know. M much better, much better. I, I saw doctors today and uh the the progress is keep uh continuous uh have been doing, you know, so they are so happy and proud of this because I have already test I test my hand uh yeah uh Saturday in the arena. So they are so proud, so proud of the servers. You know, I, I punched some yes. change in head there. So they are proud and they say, Paul, you did pretty, pretty well. You know, you you are not allowed to do any exercise except beat some change in heads if you uh, saw them in your, in front of you. But besides this, is 100% good. I, I, I think we're going to remove these teachers, uh, not nice teachers, sorry. No stitches. They stick here. Uh, Thursday. So then I will be like a... Okay. Uh, to, to and I want to ask you about what happened Saturday in a moment, but I'm just curious. The last time I spoke to you, uh, you were still saying that you wanted to be in the fight. Ultimately, why did you get removed from the fight? Like, what happened between when we spoke to the announcement coming out two days later that you were out? Uh, day after that spoke, uh, Dr. Uh, told me we need to do more truth surgery. So like, uh, and let my open, um, let my, my elbow open. So they, they will not be uh, possible to do another stitches, you know? So with this arm open and the skin open, it is not possible to do anything. And you know, any commission will not, uh, will uh, block me to fight and, you know, so, that that night that I, I spoke with you, I I had a, a a chance to fight. But next day, doctor told me you need to reopen your first surgery to clean again. So mm. that that way will not be possible anymore. How how depressing was that when you got the news that you were out? How did you uh, how did you feel after all these months? All these months I was. You know, in the edge, I know, I know that since the, the first surgery I was in the edge, but I was trying, just pushing hard, just try with all my, my power, you know, try to stay in the fight, try not let this fight fall, fall apart. And, uh, yeah, when the, the news hit me, you know, I felt frustrated, so frustrated, frustration. A lot of frustration and sad. Yeah. And uh was was a bad moment, very bad moment. And uh to see his response, he was sort of mocking you and saying that you were running away. How hard was it to see all of that? Say again, sorry. Uh you know, when, when the news came out, like Hamza was kind of mocking you and saying that you were a chicken and running away. How hard was it to see all of that? That he was, you know, yeah. Not, not really, because this is a kind of bullshit, you know. Uh, you cannot do, you, you, you cannot say nothing about a big a three surgeries and a open wound on your elbow, you know, two big holes like I post pictures. Uh, just bullshit. I just ignore. This don't affect me, really, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what happened at the event on Saturday? I saw one of the clips of you battling someone and the guy jumped over. What what happened there? Yeah. 
bro, I don't know exactly what these guys were, were, were doing there, over there, but uh, when I get in the arena, I was in the hallway, took pictures with the fans, and somebody that asked for fans for photo and and, and uh, selfies. And uh, almost in the corner, when the yeah, in the corner to, to go to my seats, uh, I, a guy called me, and when I came in front of him, he showed his fingers in my face, you know. So I looked to him, and the, the security pushed me like, a, come on, Paulo, next fight is coming. We, we need to, you know, we need to let the hallway free to the next match. But I... I I I I say I marked his face. Oh. <laughs> I marked his face because I become I piss out, you know. My my will is slap his in the face directly, but I I cold. So I marked his face and uh, I used the same highway uh, uh, um, hallway to to go to the bathroom and come back to my seats. So I went to the bathroom and looked for him. And when I come back, I saw him, but he was not anymore in the first row. He was in the third row. So uh, it makes more fears because he j like uh, came for the first just to show his fingers in my face. <laughs> right. So respect. Right, right. <laughs> so respect. So bro, I I, I was like uh, I need to I need to discipline 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 this guy before. You know, I came back to watch the fights because my my mind will stay on this guy. This guy is so audacious. <laughs> and then I come back and I saw him in the third row. I say, brother, come here, please. I want to to do something with you. And uh, he looked to me like that and he started to come. But they are a little a couple of them. I think it's like a dwarf chain gang around there, maybe four or three, I don't know. And uh, the guy, when he started to, to fall down to, to came, uh, jump the seats to come until un, uh, me, somebody just hold him, don't, don't go, don't go. And then I grab him. So when I uh, when I, I grab him, another guy tried to punch me. So the security pull, pull me out. And then the same guy that I was trying to drag out, he jumped in. <laughs> He jumped in, you know, <laughs> like in front of me. Uh, I don't know what he had in mind, but it was not a good idea for him because when once he jumped, he landed in the security and his head was like in front of me. So even with my brand new arm, I, I could land. <laughs> That's it. Just this. Wow. And more guys start to jump in, but I don't know these guys. Okay. And uh, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. After that, was there anything else that happened? Or were were you left alone? Yeah, just this. I left. Yeah. Okay. I, I went to uh I went to take a car to come back to my hotel and uh, we go through the Hilton. Hilton is uh the hotel the, the athlete's hotel. Was a, a lot of people there, but was fine. Okay. Um what did you Think about the fight, Hamza Kamaru. Yeah. What were your thoughts on the fight? I I can resume for you. I think uh, Kamaru did what, did his best. You know, in that circumstance, he got. First of all, he is a well well the way, not middle way, mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, he is quite smaller than a, a legit middleweight, but he's a good weight. But he he was like a ten days short notes, so and he need to to flew here in Abu Dhabi. We know it's different uh, time, it's, and uh, you, you maybe you take like a, two days to get here. Depends from where you come. So, basically, he had seven days to, to train for this fight. And I think he did what he called to do. But if he called 
Uh, but will you be more on himself? He could beat. The, uh, uh, he could get a win on in this fight. I was talk with his coach, uh, Cosmo Alexandre, and I was Cosmo. He need to push. He will be in the second. For sure, he lost the first. The first round, he he lost. But I think he won the second and the third. In my opinion, if you put ten eight for for Gomez in the first, at least a draw. But yes, but. It is what it is. I, I think this fight makes Shimaev uh, become smaller, become uh, yeah, smaller than he was before. Because the people actually the the, the people uh, have has a lot hype on him. But I I just realized it's just more about boys and and kids. You know, it's not the regular. It's, it's not the 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 heart from co uh, core fan base from MMA because the people don't don't think he's ready already. You know, maybe he has potential, but he's not ready to big fights, to super fights. Camaro with full camp or the smoke him, mm. and uh, yes, and. Uh, yeah, I think these guys who support him, who is, you know, so fanatic with him, is just kids who see on he on him a uh, Western guy who can represent them or their weakness, something like that. It's a kind of nerds. When nerds look for some somebody, some, you know, in the cartoons and, oh, this is my hero. Mm. But for, for, for you... For, for for example, for you, who is a uh, long time on this sport, you know, you have seen everything already. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you you can recognize when the guy is ready to big big things or not. And uh, I don't believe he is, uh, he's ready, you know, right now. So, yeah, I think this fight uh, make him a little bit smaller than before and uh actually the fight against Gilbert showed the the same thing but now one more one more for for point on this way I think were you surprised that it went down like that or or did you you know did you did you think that he would finish him in the first round or did you expect Kamaru to give him a tough fight like the Gilbert fight no I expect I, I I just I expect Kamai would uh would make a good fight, you know, and uh and uh, be very tough opponent. Okay. For for Shimaev. So yeah. it, it sounded like afterwards they were saying that he gets a title shot. How do you feel about that? Uh, I don't think this is legit. He didn't beat a top middleweight yet, and uh, and uh, he didn't make great things in the weatherweight either. So why? You know, my my point is just why. Yeah, why do you why? think? I I think I think he should fight a legit middleweight. No, why? Do you, why do you think they're giving it to him? Like, what's your I don't I know, guess. you know. I, to be honest, can I be honest? Please. I think then I'd say about that the next one will will be in the line for the title just for to hype this event, mm -hmm. to not to not let the, the expectative of the people uh, be low. So when he say the next one will fight for the for the title next. The people put more attention. Oh, let's see. You know, it's it's like a strategy to sell. But Dana White so is smart. He's running he, this show very very well. You know, and uh, he knows what uh, will be better, and uh, for the business and for for the division. And uh, I. 
I believe. I, I believe a lot in what he's going to do. And I truly believe he's going to uh, rebook my fight against him. When could you fight, uh, given your elbow? Like, what are they saying to you? When could you be 100%? I have sent a message for, for Dan White in his private uh, Instagram, and we have a talk. I actually bothering him. I can't fight. I, I want to fight in December. That soon? I want to fight. That's in two months. Yeah. Yes. You yes. could be ready to go? The, uh, the elbow would be okay? Yeah. Uh, as I told you, the wound is closing. It's almost closed. So yeah. more one week, one week I will be ready to come back to train. And uh, I don't need too much t time to train. You know, I, I have been trained. I, I did a, a fight camp for Comete Chain. I have been trained for this fight for a whole year. I don't need eight weeks, 12 weeks. I need five weeks. Give me five weeks. We can train before the end of this year. Okay. And uh, if it was up to you, you want to rematch him. Like, I mean, rematch. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Rebook, rebook. You no. obviously didn't fight him. But uh, like you, that's what you want, right? You want to do you versus him, and we determine who's the better I, man. I really want, you know. Besides, I become a little bit more less excited for, to fight him after mm. Saturday. You know, because he he shows a lot of holes in his game. You know, so immature, doing hard. Yeah, he just <laughs> rushed too much in the first, and he was. He wasn't over there anymore in the second, in the third. So guess out. So this is like a begin mistakes, you know. I remember when I had four fights, I was like that. I just rushed with everything that I had, and I I didn't had <laughs> had, and then uh, my soul just goes out of my body, and I was like tired as a hell, you know. So he do he doing the same right now in UFC against, you know, against uh in the coming event. So this is so immature. Uh that's you know, everybody knows if you lose my head more two rounds, he gonna you know, uh or he, he gonna um, uh, finish him or won that fight. Of if he believe a little bit in himself and push a little bit more I truly believe who's going to should, should I get the win. But, yeah. So, but he's, he is the fight that I won. But if he's not, that's okay. We have Whitaker, we have uh, Duplessis, uh, Canonier. I don't know. Um, what do you think would have happened if you fought him on Saturday? In, in, in your heart, what do you think would have been the result? I think, I th okay, I will tell you my, my honest uh, thought about that. I really think in the first shoot, I will I sprawl really hard, really hard, you know, over almost 100 kilos sprawling above his head, have ribs, and uh, he could make a body lock or put me down. If he could, I will just bounce and come back. And uh, maybe he survived for the first, but in the second, no way. Hmm. I'm going to knock him out. So it must have been hard to watch that on Saturday, right? No one feeling that? Yes. You know, yes. That should yes, have been me. Yes, yes. yes exactly. And that, that was my feeling. Right. And what about... The money, money easy, you know, easy everything. Right. People criticized you for talking about the elbow, for 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 making it public. Um what do you what do you make of those people? You got some criticism criticism afterwards. I I didn't understand this quite quite side. Uh, why? I don't know. Maybe I uh, they I guess they were implying that you were trying to get out or make excuses, all this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> did you see did this stuff? Search. Yeah, I... it's crazy. No, it was why? not fair. Not fair. Yeah. Uh, I I ju I, I was just uh telling the people that I was good in that at that moment. Yeah. Even after surgery. You know, I'm ready, I'm good. The way is good. My I'm feeling good. I'm training. I'm sparring already. So just to let the people know because I don't like to uh I don't know. I think people deserve to know what's going on mm -hmm. at some point. 
Mm-hmm. Some point is tra- is it strategically, so you need to wait for for after. But at some point, why not? Why not? Mm. Uh, what is your message to Hamzat? Don't be afraid. He, <laughs> the guy is run away this fight the whole year. Let me tell let, let me tell you something. Uh, UFC is playing doing this fight. They told me UFC uh, Hunter Campbell told me about this fight uh, around January. Okay, I just say it's so long with no fights. Why are you wait until October to fight for major chain? Mm. I told you, I think yeah. I was here in the show. Yeah, he said, oh, No, no, I don't want you to fight before because you know you can injure your in, during the fight and we lost this match. I say, Okay, I will wait to this fight, but even uh, August. Go make a chain was try find out another people to fight, not me, but not me. He was not the one. To, he never want to fight me. Mm. Neither him, any of his coaches, his manager. Only UFC push for him accept. He has. He had no other option. So what my message for him? Let's fight. Don't be afraid. I know he, he's insecure, man. You know, he tried to uh, look um, no fear in this bullshit, but he is a, he's soft. He was crying. I cried. I broke my hand. I broke my hand as well. Again, look. And uh, yeah. And uh, I was. Did, 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 did you see me cry? Mm. About my hand, <laughs> not about my hand. I no. grab about, about yeah, other it. things, other things, yeah, yeah, yeah. other <laughs> things for sure. Um, well, I'm sorry it didn't work out, but I appreciate you coming on and uh, talking to us. And you're gonna go home now and get well. You're gonna go back to Brazil, get well, and then hopefully we see you back in there in the next uh, yeah. in the next few months. Okay. 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 Yeah, I I just have another appointment on Thursday, and then. I need to stay here until Thursday. Uh, okay. So I with the same doctors, and after that, I'm just wait for UFC to tell me who gonna be my next opponent. But I want to fight Asap. Okay. Uh, thank you, Paulo. All the best, my friend. Thank you for staying up late. Take care and good luck with the appointment. Thank you. Thank you very much. All See right. you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.